Hey everybody, welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Um, today's video is um, basically a kit video and I think this is the first time I've ever done a kit to work with during a month. So what I did was that since I want to use up my stash as much as I can, I began with a collection kit and then I've also added some extra things because I've in terms of my design team requirements I have to make about 10 or 11 layouts per month um, so I so I the more material I have the better if I have leftovers it doesn't really bother me because um, in, we have Mother's Day in May, so I can make some extra um, layouts to gift away. So let me get started. So these things were just extras that as, as I was looking around my, um, my craft room, I started to pull things in. Um, these are some like cards because I might make some cards with leftovers and whatnot. So the collection kit that I chose was Homegrown by Echo Park. And this is a collection kit from 2015. So it's well over four, yeah, five years. Um, it's five years old. And I wanted to go for like that springy feel. Plus I also wanted to have a collection kit that had lots of colors so that I could easily play around and make different layouts, um, different themed layouts because right off the bat this looks like a collection kit that you might use for um, maybe doing a recipe book or something you know farm-ish because you have uh, yeah that this pattern reminds me a lot of um, you know, farm stuff, the carrots, chickens. It's like a very homey collection, but I'm not gonna use it for that. I'm gonna focus on patterned papers per se and just begin to use it up. I love this floral paper. And what I did was, let me just give you a little quick overview of how the collection looks. I love this paper. It's like a dark teal, ish blue background this is a cherry paper I love it with the green polka dot on the back vegetable paper see this is like almost like a kitchen wallpaper from like years ago um, this is sort of like a burlapy textured paper it's not textured per se but you can get like that sack feeling burlap milk bottles with this um, gingham or crisscrossy patterned in red colorful polka dots with diagonal blue lines the same pattern that you saw in red here it's in green with some pineapples on the back cut aparts and I like that they have I like these like three, um, four three by fours and four six by fours, and on the back side more flowers. Um, watering cans with a honeycomb design on the back. More flowers. This I can definitely like fussy cut out. This sort of um, um, red and it's not actually red. It's more like an orangey red with a white. Uh, white lines, some jars with like a light minty green background with some diamond shapes, chicken background. I love this purple color. Carrots with this green color, uh, green patterned, and pattern I mean, and these two sticker sheets that are very, very versatile. I mean, just by looking at it, I can make 
a layout, like family themed layouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these aside and I also am going to show you the other patterned paper that I brought in. But I'm going to leave this here so that we can see how I matched the colors up. These other patterned paper I've broke apart about four or five take-home kits. You know those kits that um, a local store would design um, and I would go purchase them. They had the instructions but I never got around to using them. So what I did is that I just took apart each of the patterned paper, um, each of the kits, and I'm going to be using them with patterned paper from this collection. So for starters, this one, I loved it. It's not the same tones, but this is the same color that you could see in the collection. The pinks, the reds, this purple color over here is very reminiscent of this one over here. Um, the greens, so it's something that I could definitely use. And on the back side, we have these florals that are a dark blue. So it could definitely match up with the collection. Now, to match this patterned paper with some other patterned paper that I have, I had this one that I could just cut apart the butterflies. And it's a gorgeous design on the back. It's a, like a mustardy yellow. And I also have this patterned paper, which is an ombre um, paper. And it has cut aparts on the back, but I most definitely will use it as a background paper. And then, Here's the, wow. I have some pattern paper left from Truly Grateful, but look at this. This orangey red color is almost the same one as this one. The pinks and the purples and the greens mix well. So whatever I had left from Truly Grateful, I pulled it out and I stored it here together. See, look at the blues from the stars are, are, are the same ones. Are, it's, it's the same green over here. I'm sorry, it's very early in the morning while I'm doing this recording, so um, my brain is not like up to all its cylinders. And then look at the rainbow paper. So my idea behind building a kit is that I'm incorporating an old collection which it's homegrown from 2015 and I'm adding newer patterned paper to the overall collection. This basically I just saw it and I was like I can fussy cut these flowers out and create a floral layout because the pinks pair well with it. Um, these are from the Maggie home this one is from the Maggie Holmes collection and I have another one. Yeah. These blues and these kites could pair well with it. And the blues again. This one, I think this is, yeah, this is Amy Tangerine, Oh Happy Life. The overall colors could blend well. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and run you through the yellow paired well with this one over here. The florals here pair, the colors of the florals pair well with the collection. So really I just began pulling out things that had more or less the same pattern to paper. This one's just for the black and white um, design. This is more or less the same teal that's in the collection. So again, I'm pulling out lots of different patterned paper. This is an acetate sheet that I saw in my stash and I was like, it has more or less the same colors. I'm going to use it. This is from Illustrated Faith. This is, where's the date on this? Okay, it doesn't have any date, but it's She Blooms from Illustrated Faith. Man, I think this was from four or five years ago. And again, it could pair well 
with the collection plus it has lots of gorgeous florals and pinks um, a big and bold white background with polka dots black background with polka dots and it has some jars some flowers that you can definitely fussy cut out this as well so right now as I'm looking at it this was in one store-bought kit two so I have already two store-bought store -bought kits that I deconstructed and incorporated into this collection into this kit and then the this one's another one the teals pinks and flowers this is from Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm and Amy Tangerine Yes Please. And one of them, this is from 2012. These two are from 2012, but I thought it could pair well. And also, these two are also from 2012. So the oranges, pinks, I knew that it was going to work well together with the initial collection that I had. And yes, if you notice, I have lots of patterned paper that I pulled out, but that's the idea. I have 11 layouts to make, at least. This is from Pink Paisley's Paige Evans Pick Me Up collection. So I brought those out as well. This is actually a third, fourth, this is actually the one from Pink Paisley. That's a fourth um, kit that I had. Again, Pick Me Up. Stargazer, this is Dear Lizzie. Where's the date? I don't see the date here, but okay. It should be around there. These kits were really old. This is from Vicky Booten, All the Good Things, 2017, from the same collection. Now, I know that I might not, might not be able to use all the pattern paper, but as I mentioned, I have. Um, I can easily make some layouts to gift away, but I'm going to try and use this as much as I can. Then apart from that, I pulled out some cardstock that went well with the colors of my kit, as well as different embellishments, sticker sheets. I have mostly ephemera from um, Truly Grateful, so, and I also have scraps of patterned paper here. Um, that I just added it in, so I'm going to try and use those up as much as I can. I have this um, stamp kit. This is from Scrapbook and Cards Today from their spring kit from 2018. So again, I have a lot of stuff going on, but I'm again, I'm going to try and incorporate this into a layout. Well, 11 layouts, and I have more than enough. I The way that I see it, it's better to have more than enough than not enough and having to um, break into your stash again. Um, some burlap stars, because we have this patterned paper that's of burlaps. This, These butterflies that I can fussy cut out. This is a vellum sheet of yellow polka dots. Could pair well with it. And an acetate sheet of, it says neon green, but it's sort of yellow, so I could play around with it. Plus, I have about six boxes of 4x6 four embellishment boxes. So like these, I'm not going to use these because this is not the, the color scheme. But I have like five or six box boxes like this that are full of leftover embellishments from other kits. So I'm going to be using them as well with this kit to try and use up my stash as much as I can. And then towards the end of April, I'll go over and see how much I have left. Hopefully I won't have a lot. So anyways, this was a short and sweet video of how I built my kit and let's see what I make of it. Take care guys, see you back soon.